Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Dragon Quest Dino Daibokin or The Adventure of Dai, which is on episode 43. Now this episode right here was actually nice and great and it looks like to me I'm looking forward to more episodes down the line and, and especially to the next one. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Dai continue clashes against Hadler in his new form whatsoever, you know? And we have to it that Hadler and his superior being form is able to use spells at the same time. And we get to know down the line and down the road that what Hadler, why Hadler is able to use such spells is because he gave up, like, um, his... his ability to, like, um, transform back into a Darkling what Darkling whatsoever... Uh, transform back into a Darkling whatsoever. Like, um, what he... Why he's able to, like, use spells is because, like, um, is because, like, um, yeah, he gave up everything to, to use, gave up becoming a Darkling whatsoever, and then that's the reason why. And we have to it that, like, um, the, the form that Hala is stuck in right now is forever ed ed into his body and mind forever, you know? And we have to, of course, like, um... That, like, um, that the Reaper, on the other hand, says, like, um, he just got a little, however, just like, um, he just only got a little stronger, though, that's it, which is really shock, which is really shocking, to be honest, because, like, um, because the way how he said he only got a little stronger means that, like, um, he hasn't gotten really up to a point where he's able to scare Mr. Varn or the Dark Reaper yet. Which is really scary, honestly, because the superior being right now that Hadler is in, he's able to use spells, not to mention the way how he's overpowering Dai, you know, is really shocking. But, we get to know more down the line eventually, where, like, um, Dai will later on draw upon his sword and use his Draconic Aura or Dragon Knight's power, and he ends up trying to clash against, um, Hadler with everything he's got, you know? But unfortunately, it doesn't work, and we get to know... And we get to know why. We get to see to it that Dai was really shocked. Even even Pop is like, are you serious right now, dude? He should have lost an arm or so and or even get killed. And Dai's like, and we have to it Pop ask the great question like, um, hey, is it possible that he has something that's stronger than Orakalum or something? And we have to it, Dai's like, no, that's not it. What I hit against Hadler's right arm is something metallic or something metal. And we have to it that, like, um, that Hala reveals that he has the sword of champions, you know? If you, if, <clears throat> if you guys remember many episodes back, that the sword of champions was given to Hadler many episodes ago by Zabara's son, Zamsa, you know? Not to mention with the data that, um, Zabara used on Hala whatsoever, um, it's only being, it's only having Hala to be more formidable. And... And we get to see to it that Hadler ends up using something called Dark Fire Energy. And it comes to a price where you're using life energy to to make, make the Dark Girl burns life energy beyond its limits whatsoever, you know? And we have to it that Hadler ends up using everything he's got to try to strike down Dai, you know? Because it'd be disrespectful if he doesn't use his full power against him. And we have to it that Hadler was very close to possibly injuring or killing Dai. But Pop, on the other hand, decides to come in and save Dai out of... Out of being a hero or out of like, um, care for his friend, you know? And we have to it that, like, um, they end up trying to run away, etc. But we get to know down the line, um, in the, in the episode that Hadler, the Reaper, and Mr. end up chasing after them, you know? Pop talks to Dai and says, you can't beat him alone, man. This is way too impossible for you to handle alone. Which is really sad and ironic because, you know, if you if you guys remember to any reference to the games whatsoever, when you're facing a powerful boss, guarantee, no matter what, you can't beat a final boss unless you're really lucky or you've gotten your character super strong to a point to maximum level, maximum stats whatsoever, depending on what you how you build your character, you can't really beat a final boss alone. Unless you get a lot of luck or, you, like I said, you train your main character and other characters up to maximum level, maximum stats, and depending what class or what build you put them in, it's possible. But in terms of reality in this series right here, 
Pop even tells Dai, you can't beat him alone. That much I can tell you. But unfortunately, they get caught up by Hadler whatsoever. And Dai pushes Pop aside and gets ready to like him clash against Hadler once more. He ends up having to like, um... We had to it that Hadler charges at Dai with the Sword of Champions and his Dark Fire energy and clashes against Dai. And we see to it that Dai falls into the ocean glaciers below. While Hadler, it looks like to me he did come out victorious but he's injured and he ends up saying i expected nothing of my i expected nothing of my rival whatsoever you know etc so we have to it that hala ends up falling into the ocean and says you know i expected nothing from a true hero i'd be disappointed otherwise and hala falls into the ocean as well and we have to it that like um the reaper tells mr Vern to go See to Hadler while he'll take he'll handle the rest, you know. And preview of next episode, we don't really know what's going on right now as as it is, but we have to it that the next title of the episode is called "The Hero Lost in the Glacier." That's it. So, yeah, pretty much this episode right here was actually really nice and slick. The clash between Hadler and his superior being form, and him giving up everything to use spells, you know, was really shocking alone. And seeing how he how he, how how he's grown very powerful. Not to mention he had the Sword of Champions on his, at his, at, in his arsenal or his weaponry, you know? And that, let's, and we, if you guys remember, the Sword of Champions or so is made of Oricalculum or Oricalum, how you pronounce it. And the fact that it's able to clash against Dai's sword is actually very scary because if you guys remember correctly in the games when it comes to Oricalculum or Oricalum, it's known to be the strongest metal. Not to mention... It's mentioned to be the strongest metal in, in in this series as well. So that's even crazy and scary at the same time, you know, whatever the case may be. But that aside, Hala was still able to like um, get injured and ends up being in a tie or draw to draw match with Dai, you know. That's even actually more shocking and scary, let's be honest. But let's put it this way. Dai is a actually able, well, if it wasn't for Pop's interference, etc., he was able to actually put into a tie-to-tie -tie match with Hadler. And this is Dai with him not training with his dragon power or draconic power at all. He barely had any training or had no training at all, and he's able to manage to give a big draw, a draw, or a tie-to-tie match, tie-to-tie, uh, a double KO with Hadler, you know? And if Dai had proper training with his dragon dragon power or draconic power draconic power or dragon quest crest crest power, guaranteed, like um he would I think Dai would have won, but I it could be very debatable depending on the situation because when it comes to to the, to the superior being, it looks really flaw, flawless right now, you know, compared to when it comes to Zalbero San or Zamsa in general, not being at full capacity with it, you know that kind of thing. But anyways, I thought the episode really, was really nice and slick. Looking forward to the next episode. Toei, you're doing so much of a good job so far. Keep up the good work. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot! Ta-da!